Hello and welcome back to Good Game Nation, where we bring you all things TCG. My name's Preston, and today we're talking about One Piece TCG news. If you didn't get that already from the thumbnail you clicked on. Um, we're going to jump straight into our first story right away and talk about what came out on the websites. Uh, we got both a uh, Japanese release on Set 7 and English, so we'll jump back and forth and just see if we can notice any differences. But to start off, they're calling this one 500 years from now. Interesting name, because there is no time jump. It's just a future-based arc in the, the manga. So kind of awkward naming for me. But my gripes aside, let's talk about what it says here. It says a new series, Egg Edition, is joining the battle. Also included reinforcement cards for the popular themes of Revolutionary Army, Supernova, and Seven Warlords of the Sea. We're getting more stuff to boost these guys. I'm hoping we see Monkey D. Dragon, Revolutionary Army, Supernova. Uh, so we have to have those either in red or green so that they support the leaders that have previously been Supernova. Increase the value of those if they're not in red and green. Um, I'd be disappointed. And then Seven Warlords of the Sea have to be blue. So as long as those continue to happen, I think that's helpful for what has already come. Or it's just saying that there's cards. It just doesn't work for me. Um, we are getting this set in February, February 24 of this year. Um, and we, in, Jap in Japan, are getting 125 cards with one extra, which is always the Dawn card. Here's your breakdown, six liters. So that's a... Uh, one per color at least unless they do what they've been doing which is all dual color leaders but I wanted to jump over to the English side because it's a little different um, no breakdown here same name which is nice uh, we get naming differences once in a while which is annoying um, but the thing I wanted to jump straight to is an additional card that Japan does not um, talk about they either aren't going to include it or they want it to be more of a surprise like later on i guess but this is a treasure rare i think a lot of people have hinted and tried to leak that this is going to be like the Yu-Gi-Oh ghost rare we have no idea what this is but it's an additional card because we get 126 while japan is getting only 125. the rest of the breakdown should be the same and uh this is a june release so that's not yet, but right around the corner, a uh, four-month breakdown about, so pretty similar to what we usually get. Excited for these to be coming out and seeing what comes out. We have to finish uh, the extra booster releases and then jump straight into these uh, cards because a February 24th release is right around the corner, barely like a month and a half away. And we've gotten nothing from it so really excited to see a very quick release of this and seeing what it has to store for us moving on to our next story we have uh starter deck 11 yeah starter deck 11 which is the green uta deck coming out february 2nd here in the west u.s and english speaking uh, territories and we've seen all of these cards cardless isn't available in english yet but if you jump into card dev or any of the other uh, like resources for cards, you'll be able to read what it is. For the most part, this is a green film package reprint with maybe like eight to 10 cards that are new, um, which in my opinion is a bummer considering uh, most people should have green film stuff, at least the commons and stuff that are coming in this, commons and uncommons. If you don't, this is great. This is a great thing for new players to get a pretty strong package that's with this leader and the the cards that are coming around it really nice package that was quite strong in the the set five meta in japan um that connects to the next story which they are hosting a sealed event using just starter deck 11. i think this is a bad idea for for anyone that is competitive it's probably going to be quite boring to play three to four mere matches but great for beginners beginners are welcome it's probably uh exciting for beginners um 
if the events have enough starter decks to sell to people, that would be really great for, for selling the starter decks because I know these things sell out like crazy. Um, so being able to get a guaranteed one of these um, on launch would be great for a lot of people that have no access to it otherwise. Um, but with that being said, the participation is the film red uh, re-release that happened in Japan. It is these cards here. I believe it's eight cards that support the Uta leader and then a vanilla Monkey D. Luffy. And then the winner of the tournament would get a winner stamped version of the vanilla Luffy, which is the gear five punch from red. So pretty cool. Um, I think a lot of stores will probably uh, cater to their sweaty uh, competitive players and not follow the format correctly for the most part. But we'll have to see. Reach out to your, your local and see what they're planning to do with this tournament and with these participation packs. Um, moving on to our first of our card releases from the official website, we have Mont Blanc Cricket Yellow Character, 2 cost, 3k power, Kiriyama Alliance, I don't know what that is. 1k counter, Dawn times 1 during your turn. If you have 2 or less life, this character has 2k power, or an additional 2k power. Um, so, so, I just looked up what Kiriyama Alliance is. It's just his crew with the monkeys from the anime. Um, no support for it so far. Uh, we'll have to see what comes from this. I don't know why... He has a different type and why it's an extra booster which is supposed to be from what i understand a, a additional cards for archetypes that have been left behind at least that's what it seemed like so far and this is nothing to do with anything so maybe we see a little bit of this in set seven or something the effect itself is probably underwhelming two or less life gaining 2k power so making them a two cost 5k um at the end game. So two cost six K because of the extra dawn. Maybe that's good enough. I mean two cost six K at an end game might be pretty nice just to have a really like come out of nowhere beater at two cost um, the next turn. So we'll have to see what happens with this guy. I feel like uh he's probably not gonna get played until there's a lot of support for for him and uh We'll have to see. Let's move on to our next one that should have a little bit more excitement to talk about. Mr. One Daz Bones, blue character, 5 cost, 6k power, Baroque Works, 1k counter. If your leader includes the type Baroque Works, this character gains plus 1k power for every two event cards in your trash. On play, draw two cards, then trash one card from your hand. That's pretty cool. It's blue, so it's supporting the crocodile leaders from early sets. And those have been uh, event heavy leaders they were evolve i mean at least the blue purple is revolving around events so having an extra 1k power on top of this 6k uh, attack is pretty cool and you're probably going to get up to maybe like uh, 8 to 10 i'm guessing by the end game draw two trash one is incredible for blue um I could imagine this finding a place in Nami just because draw two is great. Um, even if you're discarding one, you can get rid of those cards that you only want to see as trigger anyways. So this could find its way around. Having a 6k body on board probably doesn't hurt either. And then does blue purple gain value with this? Are we going to get a couple more blue uh, Baroque work cards that will help? Uh, that leader come back. It's going to be hard because the meta is super competitive right now, but there's also set six has a ton of good leaders, so we'll have to see what happens um, with old leaders. Do these actually bring back to compete against uh, what Black is doing in set six, what uh, Black is doing in set five, and all that stuff? So we'll have to see. Next card up Brokus, six. Cost, 8k power, 1k counter, former Roger Pirates, no original effect. Um, 
this is super cool. This is our first uh, Roger pirate that we have seen uh, in this game that I can, I, I don't think there's any. I'm pretty sure that's a definitive statement. First Roger pirate in, in One Piece TCG is the guy that sits next to Laboon at Reverse Mountain. Uh, sometimes it looks like this is the scene from when he was sitting inside Laboon, uh, which is a crazy, crazy good uh, scene. Um, other than talking about who this guy is, that's all there is to talk about. It's a 6 cost 8k vanilla. I think we talked about one a few weeks ago. Uh, we're probably going to see more 6 cost 8ks. I think there's very few um, in general, but we're getting more. So that's probably going to be a new PowerPoint uh, going forward as we, we get more cards. So there's going to be some power creep, and we're going to have to see how we deal with that. Getting uh, 8k on turn 3 might be pretty annoying to deal with um especially at six cost i feel like that's going to take a little bit more for like the sakazukis to to beat down in ko and the 8k is going to be hard for red to beat down in ko and stuff like that so um these vanilla cards might end up coming back to being something much more interesting than just uh bulk we'll have to see what happens and see if the game evolves to needing to play some of these guys in your deck just to have uh, some force to get around other characters that are playing at this level. So we'll have to see what happens. I'm super excited what is coming out in Extra Booster and getting uh, some news about Set 7 is super exciting in general to be able to, to review more cards and stuff like that. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited about Starter Deck 11 and the tournament that they are hosting? And are you excited about what OP07 has in hold for us? I'm super excited myself. Let me know in the comments what you think. Until then, hit that like button and subscribe if you are not. And until next time, peace.